everybody and thank you for watching. This is our new can opener. It is a Hamilton Beach, if you couldn't figure that out on your own. It is a, let's get to the English side. The model is a shortcut stainless steel can opener. And the actual number is 76778. Uh, this you can get all over the place, big box stores like Walmart, online of course, Amazon, and you usually pay between $20 and $25 for it. This is kind of a neat one because it also comes with a OpenMate multi-tool, which is a can opener, a bottle top, pry upper, and it also has a special tool that lets you open up those hard plastic clamshell things. So it's a kind of neat little addition there. Opening this up, it is fairly unsophisticated with the packaging, but it doesn't really need much because these are sturdy little devices. Just a little bit of cardboard to keep it from shaking around. The multi-tool and the plug itself. Speaking of the plug, it is not rounded, but it is polaroid and it's like any most, or most any kitchen appliance, it looks like it's about an 18 to 24 inch cord, enough to reach the under cabinet plugs. Looking at this, obviously this is a stainless steel model. The top should come off for easy cleaning. Let's see, I'll press this button and the whole assembly comes off and you can wash this because of course when you open cans of food you get goop here and there and this allows you to safely disconnect it from the electric portion and keep it clean. It's called a shortcut because they said it opens it up the first time every time. In the back they have a knife sharpener. Those are always neat, just pull your knife back. And I hope that this piece is to hold this tool. It looks like it. Let's do it the right way, Dan. All right, there we go, sharp. It's kind of neat. So what you'd expect there and then here is that cutting device for the plastic. You slide the edge of the plastic along like this, if this is the edge of the plastic here, and you can see that blade that's embedded in there that will cut it open. So that's pretty slick. And remember how to put it in. Overall, it looks like a good looking unit. Matches most of our existing appliances. It's got a pretty wide base for stability, but let's plug it in and let's see how it works. We are back. One thing I forgot to tell you about is this is an extra tall can opener. So a standard can like these, like these refried beans for kids are gonna have for dinner with their tacos and burritos later on. Uh, it's only this tall, but if you get a tall spaghetti sauce or a soup can that's a big family sized, you'll need more height. Uh, before you do anything, lift up the magnet on top. That's gonna go on top of the can. And then push the can back. And we're gonna press it in. The lever is nice and wide here. One thumb does fine. And the can doesn't fall when it's done, so I'm going to hold it and lift up. And the magnet does its job. So what you'd expect happens, happened. Hamilton Beach is the number one brand in can openers. They kind of figured it out. You can spend different amounts, but uh, $20 is going to be your ballpark figure. This one looks nice. Uh, if you get juice on it, like I said earlier, pull this thing out and rinse it off. The gear is a nice heavy metal gear inside this as well. So that is a good thing, not plastic there. You get that satisfying click, 20 bucks, a nice looking unit. I recommend it. If you wanna learn more about this, I'll stick a link in the description below, or if you wanna buy one, you can follow that link as well. But that's it. That's uh, the review and a quick demonstration of this Hamilton Beach model 76778 can opener. Thanks for watching.